In the spotlight tonight, Target gives in to common sense. Today, the Target Corporation became the latest in a growing list of businesses that have asked customers not to bring guns into their stores, even if the law allows it. Why did Target have to publicly ask people to use that simple common sense? Because of this. Open carry groups like Open Carry Texas have inspired some people to go shopping with semi-automatic rifles slung over their shoulders. After pressure from gun safety groups and long after Chipotle and Starbucks took action on this issue, Target finally acknowledged the obvious allowing semi-automatic rifles in their stores is a very bad idea. A statement from the Target interim CEO says, in part, our approach has always been to follow local laws, and of course we will continue to do so, but starting today we will also respectfully request that guests not bring firearms to Target, even in communities where it is permitted by law. This is a complicated issue, but it boils down to a simple belief bringing firearms to Target creates an environment that is at odds with the family-friendly shopping and work experience we strive to create. Joining me now is Jamie Adams, the, the Texas chapter leader of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Jamie, this is a big win for, for your team. Now, you've been working on this for a while. Uh, where, where do you go from here? Well, um, you know, today we're really thankful that, that Target responded quickly to the call of nearly 400,000 Americans and asked their customers to no longer bring guns into their stores. You know, moms were really horrified to find out that there were customers bringing loaded rifles onto the same aisles where we were shopping for diapers and baby toys. But we're glad that Target joined other corporations such as Starbucks and Facebook, Chipotle and Chili's in recognizing, um, you know, the power that moms are in terms of, um, you know, they're just a true political force. Um, and as a consumer group, there's a lot of power there. But they recognize that you can still support the Second Amendment and also um, provide a safe shopping or eating environment for your customers. Um, such positive safety changes uh, made by one of America's largest retailers is proof, we feel, uh, of the power of the voices of women and moms. And we're going to harness that power going forward. You know, we're no longer going to let our legislators, um, we won't stand idly by as our legislators just continue to sit on their duff and do nothing about gun violence prevention. Uh, gun violence kills eight children and teens every day in this country, and moms are fed up, and we're going to go to the polls and we're going to vote on gun violence prevention, and um, we're going to make an impact. Uh, and, the, uh, Jamie, the, uh, the 400,000 people you mentioned who Target was responding to, those were signatures obtained by you. It, it wasn't just that, you know, 400,000 people spontaneously gathered. You had to do the work of getting that response and delivering that to Target and letting them see it. Uh, I have to say, for Target, the most important thing uh, that Target does from my perspective on this is that, as I understand it, they don't sell guns. That is correct. Um, you know, but for, in states like Texas and um, in other states, um, there are we don't have comprehensive background checks in place, and so in order to carry rifles such as the ones that were being carried through the store, the aisles in Target, no training is required, no licensing is required. Um, so from our perspective, you know, it was just it, it's a danger, and so as moms, we don't want to put our our kids in that environment. You know, our kids have active shooter drills in schools, and we didn't want them. We don't want them diving behind end caps in Target. So, um, so we're glad they made this decision. Jamie Adams, congratulations on succeeding with your campaign with Target, and thanks very much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me on.